Rhea, a caregiver student. Today, I will demonstrate how to perform a hair shampoo in bed. These are the purposes. To maintain personal hygiene of the client. To increase circulation to the scalp and hair and promote growth of hair. To make him her feel refreshed. Provides an opportunity to observe the scalp for signs of pressure damage, dandruff, or dry skin and underlying skin conditions. Water pitcher. Protective pad for bed. Shampoo board. Bucket. Towels. Gown. Comb or brush. Warm water. Shampoo. Disposable gloves. Additional PPE, as indicated. Optional. Blow dryer. Conditioner. Review the patient's care plan for hygiene needs and check there are no contraindications to positioning the patient flat in bed. Ensure someone will be available to help position the patient during the procedure if required. Contaminate your hands in line with the WHO 5 moments for hygiene. Check the head for lice and ensure this is treated immediately. Hello Ms. Janisa, good morning. I'm Rhea, your caregiver for today. We will do your hair shampoo as per the doctor's order. Check whether the patient has any pain. Administer analgesic if necessary. Ensure the patient privacy and check the environment is warm and free of droughts. Close the curtains to ensure privacy. Check whether the patient needs to empty their bowel bladder before the procedure. Assemble your equipment and ensure everything is to hand to minimize the amount of time the patient is lying flat. We need to ensure that the bed is at the correct working height. Putting the bed in a correct working level is to prevent our back injury. Decontaminate your hand and put on an apron to reduce the risk of infection. Remove the phyllos from behind the patient's head so they are lying flat. Ask the patient to let you know if they feel uncomfortable in this position at any time. Remove the head of the bed so you can access the patient's hair easily. Place a plastic sheet under the patient's head and shoulders. and wrap a towel around their shoulders. Position the patient's head on the shampoo tray, ensuring you follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. A towel can be placed under the neck for support. Ensure the receptacle that will collect the water from the shampoo tray is positioned under the drainage spout. If required, cover the patient's eyes with disposable washcloth to protect them from water and shampoo. Start at the front hairline and allow the water to drain down and away from the face, avoiding the eyes and ears.
apply the shampoo and massage it into the hair. Using the jug, rinse the patient's hair with water. Check regularly the patient it's comfortable and can maintain their position. Avoid pulling on the hair as this can be uncomfortable. Remove the shampoo tray. And wrap a towel around the patient's head to dry the hair and ensure they do not feel cold. Dry the surrounding skin, paying particular attention to the skin folds in the neck. Change any wet linen. Dispose of soiled bed linen directly into the linen skip. Replace the bed head and reposition the patient so they are comfortable. Help the patient get dressed. Style the patient's hair according to their preference. If possible, try to make this a social situation. Finish making the bed and ensure the patient is warm and comfortable with a call bell. Drink if allowed and their belongings within reach. Dispose of equipment according to local policy. Decontaminate shampoo tray and drainage receptacle according to local policy. Remove and dispose of urapurin and decontaminate your hands. Do not forget to record the care that has been given. Record and report any abnormal findings and update the patient's care plan if required. Principles for shampooing the patient's hair in bed. The supine position is preferred for weaker patients. Patient with significant heart or lung disease will not tolerate being supine. They must be in sitting position. Hair care should be given regularly during illness, just as it would be normally. Avoid hair wash for the patient who has just taken meal at least for an hour. Consider religious, cultural, and personal preference of the patient. Special precautions should be taken in positioning the patient. If central venous lines are present, teeth of the calm should be dull to prevent scratching of the scalp. Unbroken skin acts as barrier of infection. Additional purpose of hair care. Hair care improves the morale of the patient. It stimulates the circulation of the scalp. Shampooing removes bacteria, microorganisms, oils, and dirt that cling to the hair. 